So I'm back with a totally new soup, but this time I've been on a journey this week. I've been exploring the world of whole foods, vegetarian and vegan recipes. So I'm going to show you this really simple, classic farmhouse country vegetable soup inspired by one of Morrison's recipes I've seen recently online. You can literally add any herbs and spices you want. It's brilliant. So just go with the flow and adapt it to your own taste buds. This soup is so filling and it is a perfect hunger suppressant. So I didn't crave much or any evening treats at all this week. So I've been really, really good because usually after an evening meal, I always find I crave a pudding just for some closure for the end of the day. And usually I try and curb it with a cup of tea. If you want a written version of this recipe rather than having to write everything down, it's gonna be in my blog, tastefullyvicky.wordpress.com. So just print it off and just take it shopping with you. And you'll also find me on Instagram, Twitter, my Facebook page. And a huge congratulations to Mandy Byrne, who is a member of my I Love SW Soup Facebook group, and she lost an amazing six pounds by doing my soup challenge last week. So congratulations, Mandy. And if she can do it, why not give it a go if you fancy it yourself? So the first thing you're gonna need is 120 grams of whole foods country soup mix from Morrison's or something similar. And you'll need to soak this overnight for about eight to 10 hours. And once you've done that, you need to rinse this out. So now we need to add some boiling water to the pan. And we're going to bring this to boiling point and then we're going to lower it to simmer for about 50 minutes. Once the country soup mix is cooked and drained, you need to pour this into your soup maker. So you're going to need some fry light, seasoning, a deep based pan if you've got one, or you can use a soup maker like I am. And I'm going to saute some crushed garlic, one leek, which mine is 150 grams. I have 150 grams of pink onion. You can use whatever onion you like. I've got 140 grams of diced potatoes, two celery sticks, which is 140 grams, three medium sized peeled and diced carrots, and mine are 260 grams, 600 milliliters of water, two vegetable stock cubes, one teaspoon of dried mixed herbs, two tablespoons of tomato puree, and a soup maker if using. But this isn't essential, but it's just my favorite gadget. I'll leave the link in the down bar below if you want to purchase one yourself. So you need to heavily spray your pan with fry light and put these ingredients in your pan. So we're gonna saute all of this on a medium to low heat, probably for about five minutes until the onions have softened. Now we're going to add all these three ingredients into the pan. Spray again with fry light. Then we're going to add our teaspoon of dried mixed herbs and give it a good stir. Pop the lid on and we're going to leave that on medium to low heat again uh, for about 10 minutes. We'll keep giving it a shake or a stir every now and again so it doesn't catch at the bottom. So now all the onions and everything else is in infused. I'm gonna put this into the soup maker now. Then in goes the stock and the puree, and now the water. And it perfectly reaches the top maximum line. Then pop the lid on, press mode, you want it to be on chunky, and then press select, and it'll be done in 28 minutes. So there you go. I'm absolutely loving this. It's so simple, and it's really healthy with whole foods in there. And the rest of the soup that I've got left over has gone into my new soup mug. It's freezable, it's dishwasher proof, and it's microwavable. And it's got a little vent at the top. So uh, I'll leave the link in the down bar if you want something similar. But this is really cool, it's a really generous size. Just look at that hand and mug. You can buy bigger versions too. And don't forget, if you like what you see and you want to see more, give it a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video, which will be next Friday every Friday. Thanks for watching. Bye!